Hello everybody, this is Joseph. Today I'm reviewing the new Hammer Horror, the Reptile. Now, let me, I want to let you know, guys know something. I'm not an expert on Hammer Horror. I've only seen the original Dracula film, but when I saw this character, I wanted her. So, of Wave 13, we got the Reptile of the Hammer Horror license by Mako. Um, if you're wondering, when I'm putting this video together, for right now, I got, uh, what's happening was, these two figures got split up of the Hammer Horror Wave. Uh, Van Helsing is coming later. It's delayed right now and for right now for right now we got the reptile So when I put this video together, it will be uh, a later segment when months days whatever goes that will finally get rid uh, Van Helsing So I'm gonna put the two reviews together. So I just want to state that So we got the reptile here. She looks pretty cool now I'm wondering about this card art now I'm wondering uh, the hammer whore I've noticed on the figures lately like for the original Dracula, it had woods, like just black woods. And then for Van Helsing, it was a nice castle background. But for here, I don't know where this is from. Maybe, I, I, I seriously don't know how to deal with it, like uh, what this stuff, car art stuff is. But maybe it means something, but it's a nice picture, you know, like Bob Ross would paint. <laughs> but let's take a look at this figure. So this is the reptile this is a cool looking i like simple like a simple version of the uh the reptile by uh, uh hammer horror because you know it, when you see photos on of it the makeup's kind of splotchy it's kind of all over the place but it's very simple uh simplified here they really uh, got down perfectly to a nice amigo uh look overall it's a very nice sculpt the outfit is the uh, wicked witch of the midwest uh, amigo outfit which is a nice reuse because you know Mego likes to reuse stuff sometimes i think it's a pretty cool uh use of the outfit then here you have the shoes and everything so that is the reptile on the front and you got the nice hammer or uh, logo and the reptile and then on the back here this is what i like i wish i was i wish this was in the back and front that was in the front <laughs> but anyways I don't, I don't deal with this stuff so i don't know um this is a nice picture we got a nice picture of her in the back the reptile very cool you know i love that <laughs> and then you get then here you have your licensing info a special thanks to consultant uh dr Migo, sculptor sean sansom and seamstress rachel baker all right this figure looks pretty fantastic now let's unbox her okay now we're gonna take a look at the new van helsing so here is him i just got him in the mail from my friend mike kells overall this is a fantastic looking action figure i like the uh, cool creepy castle background and it says hammer and then you got the van helsing reminds me of the rocky horror font um everything about everything about this figure is awesome when it was first revealed i was like wow look at that is just like peter cushing that looks so much like him it's perfect um the, the nice little fur coat he comes with and even has a little wooden stake there you put in, uh, in his hand um overall this figure looks pretty fantastic i love it i mean that, just the fur coat this is really just too cool for this figure so yes, this is a close-up at Mr. Van Helsing, played by Peter Cushing. And uh, I've only seen the original Hammer film, so sorry if my uh, uh, history of the films are, you know, I'm lacking in that area. It's just, uh, I haven't watched them, really, except for the original, which I, I love the uh, 1957, pretty sure it is, Dracula movie. I love it. So I just had to have this from the scene that he's in, and everything about it looks awesome, really. So let's take a look on the back here. Um, obviously, this is not... Van Helsing. This is from a different movie or some type of Hammer film. I have to put it on screen. The correction. Um, I'm really not too sure. Maybe it's what the licensor, licensor only provide them. We know that Hammer is a new license in the uh, industry, kinda, and uh, maybe there's some mix-up. So I'm not too sure about that stuff. So we're just gonna overlook that because you know, obviously, I care more about the figure than a lot of this because obviously the figure really outshines everything. Um, on back here. Special thanks to uh, Freelance, Jason Young, Golder Sean Sampson, and Seamstress Rachel Baker. And right here, just, you know, your legal mumbo jumbo. You know the same old drill. So, <laughs> now, let's go ahead and just rip this figure off the packaging. He looks awesome. So, let's just crack him open. Okay, so we got Van Helsing and the Reptile out of their packaging. Sorry about the lighting. I'm just having some troubles with my stand. It broke. But um, this is the best I can do for now. Um, let's take a look at the uh, Van Helsing figure first. So here is Mr. Van Helsing. He has a very nice outfit. Very cool. The head sculpt is really spot on. Let me focus here. Here is the head sculpt. It looks remarkable. The paint job is really good on him. 
really looks just like pure cushing. It is fantastic. And underneath this outfit is a jacket with a sewed on tie and it goes all the way underneath there. And it really is a fantastic fur jacket, what they had to do here. Um, it really is just awesome. So to close that up there. And I really just love the fur on it. The, you know, the, the fur they use is really good quality stuff. And if you're wondering, it comes with a little stake here, a little wooden stake there you can put in there. Uh, you just slide it right there. And, and I want to bring up something. They did, and the Wave 14 Migo, they did, they're, put, they're putting out a uh, Van Helsing just like this with the candlesticks where you know he does uh, the cross, you know, form to fight uh, Dracula in the, the original film. They're coming out with that figure. And uh, if you want to wait and just get that one, I would highly recommend doing that. But if you want both variants, you can get this one as well with, with the one stick. So yeah, this is a fantastic figure. It's probably one of my favorite hammer figures so far. This really just looks exactly like pure cushing. They really did a great job. Um, sorry about the lighting, they're really not giving them off the best look at the uh, head sculpt, but it looks just marvelous. So yeah, this is Mr. Van Helsing. He has the regular shoes. The uh, clothing uh, outfit is made of a nice navy blue. Sorry, there's been some, you know, a little bit of fur on there, but that's just from the jacket. Overall, this figure is pretty fantastic. You know, you know your standard Migo fan, uh, Migo, uh, Migo articulation. Um, basically, you know, moves up and down this way, that way, you know, same old drill. Overall, this figure is awesome. It's one of the coolest uh, hammer figures. Uh, the sculptor did a great job. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was Sean Sansom who uh, did the sculpt. I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, he did a great job on uh, Peter Cushing as Van Helsing. It really is a uh, great Mego figure. I'm so thrilled to see Hammer, you know, being brought to the Mego form, and it just looks fantastic. And uh, 10 out of 10 on this guy, I love this figure. It's fantastic. So let's move uh, Mr. Uh, Van Helsing out of the way here for a little bit. Let's take a look at the uh, old uh, reptile. So this is the reptile. And, the, and let's take a closer look. Here is the paint applications. And uh, they are really fantastic. This is a nice job. Really is. There's like there's some like silver highlights in there. With uh, It just really looks so much better in person. Really is nice. She is wearing the standard Migo uh uh, Wizard of Oz, uh, the Wicked Witch outfit, and uh, it's it's a nice reuse of the uh, dress because I, I always, always like that outfit. And it's cool to see it used on here, and it kind of brings that original 70s. Like, it, it, if Miko, I know, um, there was no hammer toys back then, but if they were like, if Miko got the license to make camera horror films back in the 70s, this is what exactly I picture it looking like back in the day. So, that's nice. Uh, tribute to the original Mego stuff. So she's on your standard vintage, Mi uh, not vintage, but your standard Mego body. Um, right here, it's molded in the green. You have, I'm pretty sure that's the Wicked Witch shoes. And uh, she stands good. She doesn't fall over like with most dolls. She stands perfectly fine with these uh, style shoes. And uh, everything is pretty awesome. And then here, you know, move up and down, up and down. Overall, pretty cool. Um, it, I'm pretty sure this character has a ponytail. But I really, I really, um, if you want to, you could probably just root some hair in there. It would be really easy to do, but I'm fine with it. It looks pretty cool. Uh, it's a nice Mego monster to the Hammer Horror uh, uh, line that they're doing. I can't wait to see the uh, Frankenstein they're working on. And actually, I'll put a uh, uh, to the side here a picture of the prototype of the uh, uh, Christopher Lee uh, Frankenstein monster. I'll put that to the side there, and you can see. But uh, yeah, overall, I'm loving what Hammer, not Hammer, but what Mego is doing with the Hammer Horror uh, franchise. It's real, they're really doing a great job on these figures. So yeah, there you go. You know, arms go up and down. Overall, I love this gal. She's simple and quite eloquent. And uh, same with Mr. Peter Cushing as Van Helsing. They, um, they're, just, you know, they're nice and they're simple. That's what I love about Mego. They're simple, fun toys. And uh, I really just love this uh, pair so much. I can't wait for the next uh, line of uh, Hammer options, the Hammer Horror options. I can't wait to see what Mego has in for us. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and include our uh, Dracula in there. There he is. So yeah, we have our you know trio together. 
I can't wait to see more Hammer Horror figures from Mego. And there's plenty on the way, so it's really nice to know. Hopefully they'll be able to do an Oliver Reed, you know, Wolfman. I really hope they can sometime. But for now, we have these. So thank you all so much for watching this review. If you enjoyed it, please leave a uh, like. And uh, if you want to subscribe and leave a comment. And uh, just thank you all for watching. Check out my video. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next video coming up soon. Goodbye.